Hey everybody, today we are talking about the five tips to success. So if you wanna be successful even more than you are now, stay tuned to WCR Nation. My name is Jersey, welcome to the show. Like I said, today we're talking about the five tips to success. I'm super happy that you're here. If it's your first time, take a look around. We got a ton of episodes. Go catch up on all of them. Binge listen, binge watch. It's on YouTube and all the uh, podcast platforms. Uh, and if you're one of the elite, one of the nation, one of the cool kids who buys your supplies through me, and you watch, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, then thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly appreciate you guys. Uh, you are the reason I get to do this, so thank you. And if you didn't know, I am a rep for Window Cleaning Resource. My number direct, 862 312 2026, put everything in your cart. Text me, say, hey, Jersey. Everything's in my cart, what's up? What's up now? Send it, and uh, you'll be one of the cool kids also. And then at the end of the show, we're gonna give you a 5% discount. So if you haven't ever made it to the end of one of these shows, we always give a 5% code at the end that you order through me, you get 5% off your uh, window cleaning and pressure washing gear. So, Yes, so we're talking today about the five tips to success. Now, I want to preface this by saying I suck. I'm just some guy with a microphone that you can't see off camera and a computer. Anybody can be a YouTube person. As you can see, there's a thousand of them. They're butthole guys out there that I'm not going to name. Uh, I'm not going to name names. There's a lot of idiots out there who all spew stuff, and I'm just one of them. So I want to preface this by saying, if you are successful and you're happy where you are, high five. Most of you are not. Everybody, most everybody wants to achieve something better. If you're happy where you are, think about if you could like, you know, make your company uh, run smoother or be more efficient or make more money while working less or any of this stuff. But the five tips that we're giving today, that's going to help you no matter what industry you're in. Window cleaning, pressure washing, uh, anything. Roof cleaning. Anyway, whatever you're doing, you're watching. But these are just some ideas of mine. It doesn't mean I know more than anybody else. And take them with a grain of salt, you know? They're, they're cool. If you implement them, I guarantee you that you will have more success if you implement some of these things. Um, a little bit about kind of how I got into the, the focusing on um, success and like, the betterment. So I, I, I got into business 13 years ago, something like that. I got into window cleaning, started a window cleaning business. I worked by myself and I actually worked with a buddy of mine who I started the company. I did the first job and I went, ah, this is boring. Nobody talked to, called him up. I knew he wasn't doing anything. I'm like, Hey, you want to make some money and uh, clean windows with me? He's like, what? I said, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I just, I made a thing. <laughs> let's 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 do it he's like yeah cool okay cool and for the first probably six months to a year probably well, we will say six months the good first main season it was the most lax like crappy like we canceled jobs because we wanted to play video games like it was one of those where it was like ah, oh, it was like this thing this kind of was like doing something and it was like ah oh, it's nice when it's nice but Nah, you know, it is what it is. Like, I didn't take it seriously. And some of you may have done that in the very beginning of your businesses too. And I didn't. I mean, you know, look at uh, Chris Lamborghinis. You know, his business, if you read the marketing blueprint, that's how he started too. Like, just like wanted to make some money. I was just talking to a buddy that's been doing it over 20 years just the other day. He's like, yeah, man. When I first started, I needed to make enough money to pay my $200 rent at my buddy's basement and enough money so I could go out and drink on Fridays. Like everybody starts for different reasons. And when you first start it, you kind of don't have the vision. And that's very true in a lot of stuff, right? You don't have the big vision of what it could be because you don't know what it is, you know? <clears throat> the longer you get into this, you can see companies that are out there doing millions of dollars a year, guys that are owner operators that are hands off, people who have sold something they created for money guys that have changed and stayed in the industry, but changed their different views. There's so many different ways to go, but you don't see that in the very beginning until you really start researching and your brain has to then tell you, you know, this could be something. The same thing with uh, what Chris did, but what I did was 
I was sitting there one day and uh, we were talking, I was talking with the, the guy that worked with me and we were uh, eating like wings, you know, <laughs> out at whatever. And uh, I was like, dude, imagine if we did this like windows, you know, we had actually worked that day. I said, imagine if I did this like eight hours a day. Like if we just did it every day of the week, dude, we'd be rich. He's like, yeah, man, that'd be awesome. Why don't I do this eight hours a day? Like it sunk in. Like, why am I not taking this more seriously? Like, what if, what do I want? Do I want to like just hang out and do nothing for a while? Or do I want to actually do something with it? And like that realization in my brain, different for everybody, but the realization in my brain that you could take something, something that's nothing, and all of a sudden put more energy in, like what you put in is what you get out. Like if you put a full tank of gas, you can go farther than a half tank of gas. If you put premium in, you're going to run better than if you put regular in. It's what you put in it that you get out. And it took a little time to kind of figure this out, which... Again, you know, I still do what I do for the freedom side of it. I've been to every assembly for my kids. I've been to every doctor's appointment when my wife was pregnant. I've, you know, gone to Disney how many times. I've gone to every water park that they want to, you know. I still do this for the freedom. But on the opposite side is like when I'm working, I can choose to be hard worker or not a hard worker. And that's kind of where success is. Whatever success looks like for you. That's what we're talking about. And the five tips to success, man, these are cliche. They, they, they kind of are. You know, everybody knows these, but I want to dive into each one and kind of explain what it means to me. And I would love to hear what it means to you. If you're watching on YouTube, comment down below. That's where we have the conversation. If you're on a podcast, by the way, if you're listening to this right now, podcast, listening to it, I know you're out working, you're doing something, but give us a good review on like iTunes or SoundCloud, Google Play, all those places, man. I, I really would appreciate that. Uh, just as much as having you order some supplies from me. Share the content too. And if you're starting conversation, just like tag it, man. Tag hashtag I am nation and uh, let's talk on Facebook. So anyway, tip number five to success in my I'm a nobody, but here's some idea kind of thing is don't focus on others, but focus on yourself. And here's, here's kind of a uh, analogy. If you haven't watched or listened to any of my stuff, I'm a big fan of analogies because I like dumbing things down because I'm not, uh, I like dumber things. <laughs> it's easier to understand, right? But here's the thing. The guy in second place is always focused on the first place guy. That's where he's looking at. The guy in third place is looking at second and first. The guy at the very end is looking at everybody in front of him. There's so many people in front of him that he's not even looking at the finish line. He's not looking at that tape draped across in the race. He's not looking at the banner that says finish. He's not looking at that. He's looking at everybody else. But what is the first place person looking at? They can't help but focus on the finish line. They can't help but look at where they're going. They're not looking at anybody else. You don't see anybody, you know, running, doing this the whole time, staring backwards. You can glance, right? You can look. It's the same reason in your car, your windshield is huge and the rearview mirror is real little. You can always take a look, see where you came from. It helps you kind of understand where you were. But looking at where you go is really what it is. And I see a lot of people out there on Facebook. Again, this is what we do. Obviously, you guys know why I do this. Uh, but there's a lot of people out there just like to talk just to hear themselves talk and think that there's someone that's cool. Like everybody can do their own thing, man. I'm not, I'm not hating on anybody, but a lot of people start focusing on what others are doing. Other businesses, other competitors, this guy's coming in. He's charging 80 bucks. I'm at $200. He's charging $80. Man, that sucks. Why are you looking at him? Like (laughs) he's not in your league. Like, do you think that a fancy restaurant is looking at McDonald's like, they're charging a dollar for a cheeseburger. Oh, there's niches for everybody. You don't focus on that. Focus on your thing. What do you want to make an hour? That's what you focus on. How many hours a week do you want to work? That's what you focus on. How much work do you want to come in? That's what you focus on. How much money do you want to make a year? That's what you focus on. Now, somebody razzed me in one of the comments. Uh, I think uh, comments are hard to understand sometimes. But they were like, ah, sounds like the last kind of podcast. So I'm going to talk planning is part of that, but... 
make a comment if you want. But planning is part of that. If you want to get somewhere, plan it. That's how you focus on yourself. You know, a laser can shoot mile, but a floodlight can't, right? It's because you're focused on one thing. Very cool theory. But if you're focusing on everybody else, think about it. Just, just if you're by yourself right now, you think about this. Just to yourself, are you spending any percentage of your time and energy focused on somebody else? If it's like more than 2% focused on like competition, what they're doing, that kind of thing, you're focusing too much time. For every percent, you have 100% of yourself. Everybody here does. No matter if you're an overachiever or not, we're not in elementary school, you don't have 110% of yourself. You have 100%. That's it. The max. If you're spending 5%, 10%, 20%, 50% of what you're doing focused on somebody else, that's only 50% left for you, man. Focus on yourself. And that's where you're going to go. Number four is... No one cares if you fail. It piggybacks on number five. No one cares if you fail. That was one thing that I understood early on is because I was sitting at a kitchen table and uh, my uncle who had owned a business was there and my dad was there. Um, And I remember sitting there and uh, they were talking, oh, I'll let you know. I always had like a side hustle, right? A lot of entrepreneurs can always do something on the side. This was going to be kind of on the side at the time. It's like, oh, I, I figured out what I want to do. They're like, yeah? It's like, yeah, yeah. I, I want to window clean. And they both looked at each other and went, <laughs> you want to what? I was like, uh, I want to clean windows. My uncle at the time, who had a lawn care company, I remember the look in his eye was just like, the, the fire that it burned inside of me. But he said, I tried to do that. There's no money in that, man. I tried to do that. He was also the guy who, uh, at the time, he did, you know, lawns and, and picked up dog poop and raked the leaves and, you know, painted, if you want, like everything. There's no money in that. Because they're hiring somebody who's not a professional at it. I could tell you, in 13 years of this, there's a ton of money in this. Ton of money. Right? We all know that. But those are life lessons. So watching somebody else sit there as I tell them, man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Like, the, you know, ah, this is good. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to be a window cleaner. Man, I did all this research. Hold on, hold on. You're going to be a what? I'm going to be a window cleaner, man. I did all this research. And this is then they went, a window cleaner. <laughs> what? That, that's not like a thing. No, that is. It is. No, man, you're going you're gonna to fail. You're not gonna. You're not gonna last a year. You're not gonna last a month. You're not gonna last four months. You're not gonna last whatever. No one cares if you fail. Now you're sitting back and you're like, I have a family. My family cares. Oh, they probably would prefer you not to fail. But if you fail, they're like, ah, oh, he'll find another job. This is just isn't working. You're putting so much blood, sweat, and tears in this. It's not working. You're not making enough money. You're not succeeding. No one gives two dumps if you fail. And that's something you got to put inside. You have to understand that. Let that be your fire to be successful. But understand the only person who cares if you fail or not is you. The only person or animal who cares if a lion eats is that lion. The other lions in the pride, they don't care. You're not eating. You're going to die. There you go. If you don't come, if they kill stuff and you're not pulling your weight or you're not doing anything, they get mad. Right? That's nature. It's the same thing in real life. People will be against you. They will understand that statistically you're going to fail, but they don't get what you have in you. Like they don't get that part. No one can. That's that's a an entrepreneur thing. Like you've met somebody. I've met people. I meet people all the time. People call. I got clients that order stuff that that call and every time I talk to them I'm like this dude, this dude has it. This is the fire. This is the thing that you can't get extinguished. It's like setting tires on fire. You can't put water on it. You can't do anything. It's just going to burn. That is a life lesson. I'm telling you right there, that, that's one of them that as soon as you understand that, that one hits home. There's, there's a couple 
real big kind of like concepts. And one of them is that window cleaning is a luxury. Understanding that changes your whole mindset. But we're not talking about that. No one cares if you fail. That one, understand. Because when you get to a certain point, when you work for another company, the whole company cares if you fail. As much as you're disposable, they still care. They're paying you. They have a vested interest in you. No one has a vested interest in you doing your own business but you. Don't impress anybody else. Impress yourself. You know? Uh, number three is to learn more. Learn, learn, learn. I got a bookshelf sitting right next to me. I haven't read all the books. I'm still going up on them. I got two more books that just came in the mail two days ago. I got audiobooks that play every time I'm in the car or when I'm standing at my desk. I have uh, iTunes. It's all podcasts and, and books, right? Well, there's no real books. There's probably half a dozen books on window cleaning. That's it. That's fine. I don't care. Window cleaning is not all you're about. It just happens to be the thing that your company does. And we talked about that before too, where like if you were a painter, you'd still be able to run the company, do the company, make the company, but you did painting. You know, you still get to be the company, run the company, make the company, but you do window cleaning. So I'm not talking about reading books on window cleaning. That's cool. Most of you people who are watching, you people, you probably know how to squeegee a window. Maybe you want to get better. That's why you watch Luke's stuff. That's why you watch Steve-O, Fluff Daddy. You know, those guys, they're the ones that are doing the how-tos and the showing you techniques and tools and stuff, right? But you're listening to this because you want to build your business. The company, it doesn't matter what your company does, it's your company, right? So get out there and learn. Watch some, you've heard Grant Cardone, cool, he's a sales guy. Super high, motivated, blah, blah, blah. You've heard of Gary Vee, everybody's heard of Gary Vee. He's the Dave Carroll of, <laughs> of, uh, of uh, YouTube, right? Cool. I five, but what about everything else that's out there? Have you ever learned about um, you know uh, funnels, click funnels for your business? Have you ever learned about Facebook advertising? Ah, yeah, I know somebody talked about it on the forum. No, have you ever taken a class on that? Have you ever taken a class on sales or read up on closing a sale? Or have you ever looked at any of the factors that go into why you're doing what you do? Like the business side of it is huge. Building, planning, big one, right? All this stuff, there's books out there, there's knowledge. This is what makes you better. This is what makes you succeed are the guys who do nothing but learn. And you just do this. You focus and then you can get all the way out. And when you read everything, by the time you get to the end of the spectrum, there's going to be more for you to look at, read, join, you know, there are, I, I always talk to people about sales. You get to people, oh, hey, how are you? Hey, man, good. How about yourself? Uh, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, just a question. I, I'm having a little trouble, like, uh, closing stuff. And I, I just thought maybe I'd, I'd ask. It's probably the economy, but no, man, it's you. Have you ever read up on, no, I, you know, I don't really like talking to people, you know, but I, I, do, I do. I do all right. You're not selling them. You're not telling them what you already know. Sales is just telling people what you know. You know that you're the best company. That's what sales are. But how to do that? How to talk to people so they can understand it? My analogies, man, throw analogies out there. It helps people understand. Well, what does uh, Pure Water actually do? Why would I pay? Uh, why would I pay you to just go ahead and splash my windows? Well, it's the same technology that's in a car wash for the spot-free rinse. You pay extra for the spot-free rinse, but that's what we do. It's great for the environment. It's just water. You know, explaining things how they do. You explain something. You've just told them nothing. I then tell them, hey, buy, buy my services, buy my services. Hire me, hire me, hire me. I told them what I use, what I believe in. I tell them why to get their windows cleaned. I tell them the information that sales, right? Go out there and learn as much as you possibly can. Take a class. Go to a convention for the love of all. That is holy. Go to the convention. Learn something. I don't care which convention. It's almost time for me to start talking about the huge convention. Yeah. But there's lots of conventions. Some are way better than others. Do that. You're listening to this right now. What other podcasts do you listen to? Uh, I listen to Joe Rogan's podcast. That's cool. And it takes up some time, but you're not learning anything. 
get one that you learn. Learn something. Learn everything and learn every day. It continues to make you better. This is why, real quick, when you're in first grade, you graduate to second grade. A second grader knows more than a first grader. That's why they're higher in grade. You get all the way up. College exists, right? But then after college, all of a sudden, everybody's at the same level, right? Everybody's at the same level, except those who keep learning. Now you're not issued a grade, but learning is how you get better. So learn. Learn everything you can. Uh, Number two in the uh, five tips to success is invest in yourself. Again, with the knowledge piggyback, that's part of investing in you. But invest in equipment. Invest in a website. Invest in decals and logos and shirts. Invest in a haircut. (laughs) Invest in whatever you possibly can to make yourself better. Making yourself better is how you succeed. Investing in yourself is just like the stock market. The dumbest thing I could think of for somebody to do is the beginning of a business they're trying to build. They got all this money. Man, I got to do something with this money. I'm going to put it in the stock market. Really? Really? You're going to take money. (laughs) Sorry. You're going to take money that you have and you're going to invest in someone else's company. You're going to invest in someone else's company. I got money in the stock market, just like everybody. I get it. But if you're trying to do something, why not do the best thing you possibly can and invest in yourself? Take that money. Oh, man, I, I got a 1000 bucks. I got 500 bucks. I got whatever. $10,000, $100,000. I need to do something with it. I can make money. The best thing you possibly could do with that money is invest in yourself because it's going to come back so much higher yielding than anything else. Now, remember, your business is compounding on itself. So when you build your business 50% this year, next year, if you build yourself 50%, you're building that 50% on the 150 from the year before it compounds. Every year, if you did nothing for the next three years and then all of a sudden did 100%, your company's going to be way worse than it would be if you did something every single year to continue to help yourself grow. Invest in yourself. Everybody's got a little bit of ching. Well, this time of year, that's not uh, that's hard. We're trying to all keep it down, especially guys in the cold climate can't do nothing. But when you have that money, when you're cash rich, invest in yourself. Upgrade your equipment. Upgrade your apparel. You know, that stuff makes your image better, which makes your company better. If somebody's like, oh man, I got a broken window on my truck. But if I replace it, it doesn't make me any money. Bull crap. Everybody who sees your logo sees your broken window. They're like, yeah, I'm not hiring them. Fix it. Now they look at it and go, wow, that's nice. You know, Graphics. How much did vinyl graphics cost on the side of a car? Side of a truck, side of a van. Well, rap is very expensive. Well, I'll tell you right now, if you do a rap and you do it right, don't make it busy. Don't make it so people can't see it. You do that, that will come back tenfold. You'll make more money on that rap than you made on anything else, maybe aside from a website. Huge, huge fan of websites. Invest in yourself and the dividends will pay forever, forever. The number one way, uh, tip for success, I guess, is be better today than you were yesterday. Well, that's super cliche. Yeah, it is. But here is the reality of progress. The same thing on why somebody who's 70 years old knows more than somebody who's 20 years old. Sorry for you 20-year-old guys. You'll get there. You'll get there. Is because they've had more experience. They're better, maybe not health-wise, but brain-wise. Experience is life. They're better every single day. And that's what you have to do because you're moving in an upward slope. How fast you go is up to you. But you got to keep going up to the top. The most successful people in this world accelerated how they got there. They were the ones who were obsessed. They were the ones who focused on themselves and did things that I recommended and and their own. They, They focused on their success. They knew where they were going and they had to figure the plan on how to get there. The guys who don't know, like if you think of the cliche slacker, he doesn't do anything, right? Sitting on his couch, smoking weed or or drinking or eating potato chips off his belly, doing nothing. What are you doing? I'm watching TV. (laughs) How how does that make you better? What are you watching? Uh, I'm watching uh, Big Brother. No, I'm not saying you have to do this all the time. But that is the guy who needs the motivation. He needs to be better. 
than he was the day before, and he's not doing it. It's up to you to be better than you were the day before. The only person who cares if you fail is you and me. I'll say that. I care if you succeed. I would love you to succeed. But, you know, the only person who cares is if you fail is yourself. So the only person you're really impressing is yourself. Now, when you get to be a uh, name, right? When you get to be like a leader in the business uh, area in your city, or you get to be the guy who has it all amongst your friends and, and uh, you know, your business is super successful and you're a lot happier where you are. Your wife gets to have kind of the the experiences and luxuries that come with being successful, right? When you get there, maybe you're never done. And I don't think you should ever be done being successful. You could continue to be more successful and better than you were the day before, regardless. But when you get to that point, that's when you realize you're better then than you were the day before. You're better now than you were a year ago. It's hard sometimes to understand that, especially in our industry, because it does this. Right? There's highs and lows, and the highs are great. Cash rich people are throwing wads of money. In. And then there's times like now where you're sitting on your butt, like almost to tears. Like, what am I going to do? Like, what's nothing's going on? If you're new and you're in that, be patient. It gets that way. But take this as an experience and be better this summer, be better this spring, be better this fall. So that in winter, when it comes, you're not doing what you're doing now. You're better than you are now. And the only person who can do that is you. It's being better, being successful. Success only comes from within. Very, very few times does anybody become successful because of dumb luck. Dumb luck helps, but it's not all the time. So go out there. Just do your thing. Hopefully these tips helped you. I know you've heard them before, but maybe you heard them in a different light. Maybe they hit home. If they did, awesome comment. I literally love it, guys and gals. When you comment on YouTube, that, that makes that's awesome. I want tons of views and I want tons of comments because I know that I'm helping. What I'm doing helps people. So, But anyway, like I said at the beginning of the show, I am a rep for Window Cleaning Resource. So, of course, there's always that ulterior motive. But that's what I do. That's how I make my cheddar. I uh, am available at 862-312-2026. Be a cool kid. Somebody yelled at me for saying that, by the way. Why are you saying I'm not a cool kid if I've never ordered from you? That's that's not right. It is right. Because you're not you're not a cool kid in my book, man. Nobody cares if they're a cool kid in my book, but anyway, you know what I'm saying, man? Order from me 862-312-2026. Shoot me a text. Shop. Put it all in your cart. As long as you're logged in, it'll save. And then let me know today's code is success. Just be like, yo, everything's in my cart. Success. And you'll get 5% off your order and free shipping over over $2.99. Something like that. So that's cool too, right? Yeah, pretty awesome. Anyway, do that. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment, share, hashtag I am nation. And uh, go out there and be epic.